Hello everyone, happy morning. Welcome back to your very own YouTube channel, Dr. Nikita's Lifestyle Apps. So this is M3 with M3, Morning Motivation and Mnemonic with Dr. Nikita Narmani Lapan. So today I'm going to share with you an uh, amazing piece that I'm going to read out from a book as I always do. And I also have one amazing cheat code to be shared with all of you at the end. So stay tuned till the end and let's dive into our today's morning motivation. So this is again from one of my favorite books here and this is in context to the FMG results that were declared yesterday and we can see that many students are disappointed with the results. So this is to pep you all up and just remember that one failure in an exam does not make you as a person a failure. So let's go and read this out. So our majority is always one leg below every new experience we encounter in life. That means every new experience that we get, it makes us more mature. The very purpose of life's experiences is to give us that maturity. But then with every experience, it isn't just the bar of our maturity that gets raised a little. Even the bar of challenges we face gets raised. So for example, uh, let us see in context to FMG results. So the students who have cleared the FMG results, even they have, you know, they've matured more with this experience, but now they have another challenge in front of them that is to clear the NEET PG. For students who could not clear it this time, they have to prepare again for this exam. There might be new pattern of questions as it was this time. So there is another new challenge. So with every experience, we become more mature and also there are more challenges that are there in the store. Thus goes upward the growth spiral of life. It is immaterial how knowledgeable we are or how much of life we have seen or if we are the very best in what we do. Even if we are an encyclopedia on life, a fall, a trip, a slump is always around the corner. So irrespective of where you stand, irrespective of whether you are the best in what you do, a fall, a trip is always there around the corner because that is what actually makes us grow and makes us more mature. Life always intrudes to disturb the flow, to disturb the rhythm. But remember, on the totem pole of growth, a failure in 10th grade is still higher than a pass in 8th grade. So true. So let us say there's a student who has failed in 10th standard and there's a student who has uh, passed 8th standard. Still, this student who has failed in 10th standard is on a higher level than the one who has passed the 8th standard. So a failure does not mean that, you know, you are uh, less or you are inferior to someone. A just miss in an attempt to scale Mount Everest is still a leg higher than making it to the top of a local hill, right? The higher the maturity, the higher the challenge. Of course, passing 10th standard is more difficult than passing the 8th standard. Climbing the Mount Everest is more difficult than climbing the local hill. But then if you're climbing the Mount Everest, even if you miss it by some small distance, you are still higher than a person who has climbed the local hill, right? So the higher the maturity, the higher the challenge. That's how life molds man. Life isn't a journey of going two steps forward and one step back. That happens only when man lives his life without awareness, without learning from his experiences. A man whose awareness coaches him to learn from every experience lives as though he's on a trampoline. He rises to fall and falls to rise. Again, he rises to fall and falls to rise. But the rise after every fall is even higher, right? That's what happens on trampoline. When you fall, you rise back and you rise back even higher than you were at that position. So let us all take a vow to rise much higher than the fall that we have seen. It's just a temporary fall, but trust me, the rise is going to be much higher. Put in all your efforts, put in your 100% and you would rise much, much higher. So both his maturity and the level of his challenges are raised to the next higher leg with that fall. So what is the reason for your success? So the students, let us say the students who have cleared the exam, what is the reason for their success? 
maybe good decisions what enables you to make good decisions life's experiences and how do you gain life's experiences by bad decisions so basically you see it starts with a bad decision that means it starts with a fault so let us take an example suppose there was a student who did not clear fmg last time so maybe he learned from his experiences that this is what went wrong and then he took from that experience the good decision of not repeating that mistakes right so bad decisions give us the experiences and from that experiences we make the good decisions so that is why all experiences are must be it bad or be it good each experience teaches us something new so on the trampoline of life's experiences i keep growing experience by experience every experience either gives me what i want or it gives me the awareness why i didn't get what i want so true so every experience will give you either what you want for example for students who have cleared the exam this experience has given them what they wanted to clear the exam for students who haven't maybe this is an awareness to realize why did you not clear the exam so learn from the experience and take the right decisions for the next time so the next time a setback disturbs your centeredness just remember life has sent a teacher disguised as an experience to help you raise the bar of your maturity let your awareness help you to not only mature out of that experience but also regain your centeredness get ready for a higher challenge we mortals have to fall to rise the blessing being that we always rise a little higher provided we are in that awareness and we are in that receptive situation to take the right action so remember after you fall you have to rise much higher and every experience teaches us something new it makes us more mature right so remember life is a teacher disguised as an experience so i hope this motivates you a bit to get even higher to put in more efforts and to emerge as a winner so this was about the morning motivation for today let's go on to the next part of our video that is the cheat code the mnemonic time so it's a mnemonic time so again uh, on the telegram group it's day 3 of our revision the last day of cardiology so i want to share with you this mnemonic related to cardiology very very important and frequently mistaken so this will definitely help you in solving the questions in one way or the other so in your dynamic maneuvers for murmurs which increase the intensity or decrease the intensity hocm hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy and mvp that is mitral valve prolapse are the two exceptions which i mean the maneuvers which increase these murmurs decrease the rest of the murmurs so the maneuvers which increase these murmurs hocm and mvp you can remember it by the mnemonic vast v a s t which stands for valsalva a mile night ride and standing okay so remember valsalva a mile night ride and standing these are the maneuvers which increase the murmurs of hocm and mvp and decrease the rest of the murmurs even here remember the catch point that these maneuvers vast in hocm they increase the intensity of murmur in mvp they they increase the duration not the intensity of murmur so remember in hocm it increases the intensity in mvp it increases the duration so i have also taken complete sessions on murmurs with cheat codes and with mcq practice i shall be sharing the link of these sessions they are free for everyone all of you can watch those sessions i have taken them on an academy but you don't need any subscription for that so all of you can watch those sessions as recorded sessions as well i'll be sharing the link in the description and in the comments so make sure you take the advantage of these two sessions and clear all your concepts in the murmurs i have shown the figures as well what image based questions can be asked in your exam the crescendo murmur the decrescendo murmur you know the opening snap and all of those so make sure you watch those sessions and clear all your concepts in murmurs so that's all for today that's m3 with n3 goodbye take care keep studying keep revising and keep winning i'll see you in